Second only to GoBots, Beast Wars is possibly the worst offender when it comes to a terrible history of naming conventions. you just got to look at them. Cheetor, Dinobot, much as I love him, but really shortchanged in the name department. Later on you had Transkeeto, which sounds vaguely sexual. And I'd love to have been in on the board meeting where they designed this chap. So, Kevin, what have you got for us today? Well, I thought... He's a robot, and he turns into a shark. How about Cyber Shark? Feast your eyes before he feasts on your flesh. Cyber Shark is extremely pretty. The uh, plastic is a kind of slightly pearlescent, slightly glittery, and very smooth, kind of uh, solid-feeling stuff. It's really, really lovely to the touch. It's mine. And it has this mottled paintwork, which gives it a very realistic feel. Although it does have some very sharp lines in places that remind you that this is in fact a robot in disguise. Not perhaps the best disguise when you consider the soft underbelly has been rent open already by the feet. At least they put little fins on his legs to make him blend in that little bit better. He's got some articulation in here. You've got uh, these fins are on ball joints, which unfortunately like to come straight off. So if you're trying to find one of these at eBay, just look for those fins, they'll most probably be missing. I nearly got fooled by this once, thankfully I came out of it okay with this guy. Up in front, on the ends of the hammerhead, you've got these painted in eyes, and also these lovely shiny teeth in front. Really good of course for a shark, but the eyes look kind of like turn signals. I'm going left. With an underbite like this, he's a shoe in at royal parties. <laughs> in terms of his shark mode gimmicks, he can deliver a wicked flying headbutt to the knees which reveals this unfortunately blind mecha skull underneath. That's going to hurt when he gets home. It's also potentially possible to unleash his tail pincer, although I'm not so sure what it's going to do apart from look phallic and backwards. So then, Cybershark in his ridiculous robot mode. Um, he doesn't look like a robot, he looks like he just flayed a shark alive and is deciding to wear it as a suit. It's uh, a little disturbing, but you wouldn't put it past him if you have a look at the head sculpt. He certainly joins the ranks of probably evil Autobots. And uh, his transformation's very, very simple. He's basically one of the old flip formers without the gimmick, so you have to do it all yourself. Um, not all bad, though. There's a lot of nice sculpted in detail, even if it does include ribs. And, yeah, you take the entire tail off for transformation. Don't worry, it turns into a thoroughly worthwhile weapon. Yeah, you like this one, I learned it off a lobster. The grabber claw could have worked better. If the handle had been on the inside, it wouldn't be on top of his arm and would have encapsulated it, making it fit in just a tiny bit more sensibly. It's a pretty rubbish thing to do with the entire back end of a shark. There's loads of space in there for more things. Maybe some extra claws, or some guns, or one of the drones that Beast Wars sometimes had, that little cyber bee which Scorponok fired out of his claw. But no. Wasted space. Wasted effort. I mean, that thing does look kind of like you could do some damage, but... Surely after you'd just run away, because it looks so silly and flaccid. And if you want to keep the ridiculous combo rolling, not only can you eject his entire head, which admittedly does make the figure look a lot better, the uh, metally silver abdomen section looks actually pretty cool. I'm pretty sure he's intended to look like this, but then what do you do with the head? Yep, it's, uh, it's a hammer, it really is. I've seen people do this before and assemble those two sections into a sort of shieldy war staff type thing. And admittedly, it's actually pretty cool, especially when coupled with his only worthwhile gimmick. Unfortunately, mine has only got one of these, but if you look up inside here, there's a little thing you can push, and that causes a missile to be released. Then, of course, you load the safety length missile into the launcher, and, um, you know kinda works. A cannon and shield combo. You sort of get the idea that somebody's just going to walk up next to him and just take the missile off him. But, uh, I wouldn't try it, would you? 
Between you and me, I could do an entire raft of penis jokes about this one. Although I love the freaks of the Transformers universe, this guy is testing my patience. I don't know. Somewhere between the big chunks of shark on front, the uh, humorously oversized missile, which actually has a face on the end of it, the fact that he's another unconvincing Autobot, and the sheer amount of wasted space considering how little actual mechanism there is in there. It all conspires against him. He is a bit crap. Could have been worse, they could have decided he was Sea Spray. I'm still waiting for a robot that turns into a rubber duck with that name. Hello, children! Would you like a balloon?